Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Square Enix Play Arts Kai, The Dark Knight Trilogy, number four, The Joker. Featured on the front of the box is some incredible artwork featuring the Joker. I gotta really level with you. Spot was really not gonna pick up this figure at all. I wasn't impressed with the overall initial artwork of this figure when I saw it online. I just happened to be at a comic book store and when I was in it, I picked it up. As you see right now, I picked it up and opened it up and was very impressed with it that I ended up picking him up. Uh, on the front though, some really neat artwork and I love that. Love it quite a bit. Up on the side, some more of the... It kind of looks like it's rain and maybe some flame. Almost like burnt embers that are flying in the air as well. Joker's relishing in whatever work and mischief that he has just accomplished. On the other side, we have the Play Arts Action Figure Kai. Play Arts Kai Action Figure on the side there. And on the back, some artwork. Um, you can see that Joker has at least one alternate head, and that would be the the uh, beginning of the movie when he's wearing the um, the burglar clown mask. He does actually have three faces, three different heads. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, you can also pick up number three, which would be Catwoman. To check out more from the good folks over at Square Enix, you can go to www.square-enix-shop.com. This figure also features 26 points of articulation. Collect all figures in the series, which so far Spot has done. Uh, when we open up the package, I won't show you Joker on the side. Well, actually, I'll show you a little bit of it. On the side, it says, this is my town now. Um, on the side, though, some more artwork. With not really good artwork of the Joker. I'm not really a fan of the face, or perhaps it's the way he's standing. I'm not really a big fan. But then down below, it says, A sinister game of survival leading the world into destruction. As if to scoff at Batman, the protector of Gotham City, one man makes his presence known, the Joker. It's simple, he says, we kill the Batman. As he recruits the mob, luring them with half of all the money he has stolen, the Joker tenaciously targets Batman using any means possible. Behind all his heinous crimes is his master plan to destroy all order and to sit back and watch the world fall apart. Within the chaos of the Joker's realm, a game of survival begins. It also says, crime is best joke, a madman scoffs. This man has no reason or logic. He is the kind of man who leaves a joker playing card at the scene of a crime. As if murder and mayhem are just games he is playing to keep himself amused. A white face, red lips that reach out from ear to ear, and a piercing glare that will make this man look all more maniacal. The joker claims that the world is a bad joke, provoking the Batman by calling him a freak just like himself. As he makes it clear in every utterance, the joker looks down upon Pete scoffs at concepts of justice and love and it seems the only thing that pleases him is to assure the world descends into bedlam that's a fantastic read-up probably one of the coolest read-ups I've ever read on the Joker really captures the essence of the character uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna get this opened up and when we come back we're gonna have a better look at the Play Arts Kai Dark Knight trilogy number four we're gonna have a better look at the Joker don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. The one thing that didn't make it to this review was actually the clear display base that comes alongside with Joker. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just Spot didn't bother to put it together. It is the same display base that came with both the Batman and Bane, respectively. So the stand that you saw in that review, I just didn't... There's just a building and stuff like that. I just didn't bother. I, I'm going to keep it aside until I properly find a way or a place where I want to pose and display Joker. That's something definitely that I'm going to do. Now, initially, I had said that this was a figure I was going to pass on because, truth be told, the pictures that they put online of this figure prior to its release, very disappointed by. It just does not, it did not interest me at all. However, 
Now that I actually have this figure in hand, I am so happy that I picked it up. Having first a look at the face that is currently on Joker, now this would have been the face that was on Joker at the time that you opened him out of package, um, he is a really neat looking Joker. Now unfortunately, I find his head is a little prone to coming off all the time, and it might stem from the fact that his ball joint, the ball joint that's in his neck is so incredibly stiff, and the ball joint that's in it, the top of his head is so much looser that guaranteed usually it, the head itself is the first thing that pops off. But it's not that big of an issue. It's not going to drive me crazy at all. Speaking of crazy, though, get a load of the crazy mug on Joker. Now, sometimes with Play Arts Kai figures, they tend to be a little more in the anime realm. Um, you essentially are getting a standard character, but they always tend to have that slight bit of anime style to it. The real difference for me is the Dark Knight figures. The Dark Knight trilogy figures, I haven't noticed it with the Bane, nor with the Batman, nor do I really see it here with Joker. I mean, the Joker itself is absolutely gorgeous. The hair is sculpted exceptionally well, and I like, really like the darkness that they put around the eyes, and certainly around the mouth as well really drives home that notion that it is a scarred face. Now granted, it's not quite as a predominant grin on the on the real Joker in the movie. Um, it seems like they've they've taken some luxuries to give it more of a of a carved face, a carved mouth, whereas more of the Joker would have had just fragments of of uh, apparent scarring. But still, I'm very happy with this figure. I guess if if anything could be said for this particular face, now I spotted mentioned there was two other faces, but the the idea with this one face is I feel as if if anything his eyes tend to get a little lost because the eye socket area is so incredibly dark. Um, yes, you do notice that his eyes um, do get a little lost. They do get slightly lost, and it probably stems also from the fact that his eyes are much grayer in color than just a straight out white. I guess that what they were going for is, from a distance, you're getting that real sunken in dark complexion of Joker. Referencing his other faces, now he does have two other heads. He has this head, now this was the head that was packaged with Joker in box. He does also have this one right here. Personally, as a matter of preference, I kind of maybe prefer this one a little bit more. But it doesn't seem like they're all that different from one another. Um, in fact, it would it probably be more so like this face right here, if I get a little closer in the view here. It seems like this face probably is closer to Joker, maybe around the time that he was... Um, you know, he was being interrogated by Batman. His f makeup is a little more worn. He's got the little more predominant of the darker up the top there. Um, to simply remove it is fairly easy, as you've already seen before. You just pop the top of the head off. There's a socket underneath, and you just pop that back into that ball. Whoops! <laughs> Until it rolls off camera. But you're just going to take that head and pop it into that ball socket, like so. Uh, the Play Arts Kai, sometimes I find their heads are a little harder to get into that socket, get into a ball joint. But there you have the other the other head. And don't, it doesn't end there. He does actually have a third head, and that third head would be the bank robber mask. Some nice detail on the mask itself. Even on the back, you'll see that it sports the Joker hair. Again, changing out really easy. Just going to pop that head off and pop the bank robber joker head on. This one you kind of have to get underneath the hair because he has that hair sticking underneath that mask, behind the mask. And also because the mask itself jets a little further back, you kind of have to tuck it underneath and then apply it to the ball joint. It doesn't get on there all the time, but you get the idea. I like this head, however, I don't feel it suits, obviously, the body that he is is coming in. I mean, this suit is clearly Joker. It's furthest from him being the bank robber. I mean, to some extent, sure, perhaps you could, maybe if he had the, uh, the jacket where you could take that off, 
possibly. But the fact that all his his trench coat and everything else is a fixed piece, you're not going to be able to get it off. I don't see this as a head. You're at least myself. I'm not would ever display him with the uh, the robber head. I'm glad they included it, and perhaps at some point, maybe we might get a scarecrow. I would say maybe doing some swapsies on there, you could put this head on the scarecrow and probably would suit it a little bit more, even though it's not quite, but you get the idea. Uh, putting on the original, let's, you know what, let's put on the original Joker face, the Joker uh, head. Again, this would be the one that came in package with Joker. There you go. Um, aside from his face, the rest of his body is done exceptionally well. Uh, the one thing I had with Bane as an as an issue was probably more so that a lot of his joints were visible. Joker hides them. He hides them very well under his, his jacket, similar to what Batman hid with the armor. You might see the odd times, in this case, with the shoulder socket, because they're trying to conceal the shoulder and to have enough flexibility to move the shoulder back and forth, the arm, they have to allot this extra pocket, this extra gap right around the jacket area. Um, it is pliable rubber, but the fact that it has to have that kind of is a bit of a distraction. You do notice it that it's there. From the front, you, you wouldn't notice it as much, but you would notice it on the side. Some nice detailing has been put into the Joker here. Um, I like the additional darker coloring that they put in there. I'm not really sure what's going on with the jacket, and it looks like as if the jacket was two sections that they put together. Um, you can see kind of where it goes here, and then it kind of just jets here all of a sudden. And it kind of, it, it does clearly look like two separate pieces, and that's a slight problem, but again, from a distance, you may not notice it as much. Um, he's got all the other iconic aspects to Joker. He's got the tie, the shirt, the tie, the green vest, as you can see. He's got the secondary, the main jacket underneath, but you won't be able to remove it. It's It's part of the the trench coat, and then of course he's got his chain on the side. Uh, it's just a soft rubber. Aside from the display stand that Spot didn't include in this review, um, Joker does have a couple of other accessories. He has two pairs of hands, or one pair of secondary hands. Um, one, one is a closed fist to this hand right here, and I'm perfectly fine I'm perfectly fine just keeping it as an open hand. Uh, the other hand is very similar enough to the hand that's currently on him, and I'm not quite sure the reasoning to include both, other than perhaps one is intended for one of his accessories, which we will get into, and the other one being for, well, the other accessory. Those accessories that he does include is a knife, a small knife, and I'm just going to see here... While it does look like it may fit in this hand, it does look like this hand might be better suited for the other accessory that he comes with, and that would be the trading cards, the trading cards, the playing cards of Joker. You can take that and take the card and put it into his hand. If you enjoy so much, you get two with some nice detailing on the back. This one also is a Joker card. And if you if you can finesse it, might take a little bit of finessing. But if you can finesse it, you can probably get both cards in his hand. As a matter of preference, I probably would have him holding more so the knife, and then I guess therefore that would dis justify the inclusion of the similar enough hand that you can swap out. Uh, to swap the hands out, as always, would be easy. You just I like to rotate it as you pop it out. I don't like to just pull it out just in case it snags and you end up, you know, anything happens to it. Just twist it back on as you pop it into place. And then you can have him holding the knife. A better fit, if you ask me, for Joker. Again, your preference, always key. I mean, as you pick this up, you can certainly put it any which way that you want. Um, in the way of his, the way of his uh, articulation, uh, Joker's head is on a ball joint, as Spot has already mentioned. It moves quite a bit easily, 
quite easily, I should say, back and forth, up and down. But you can see again, like, the head does want to be prone to popping out all the time. Just kind of have to add a little pressure and get that snug put back into place. Um, it looks also as if, I'm going to take his head off, that, yes, his neck is also on a on its own ball joint. Just get that head back into place. There we go. When it comes to his shoulders, his shoulders do have the swivel back and forth via their own hinge. The arms also do go out, forward, back. He has a bend at the elbow and actually a nice ratcheted hinge, if you can hear there, in the, in the elbow. Um, the arms should rotate as they do, as you can see in the arm there. Rotation in the, in the hand. They don't look as if they really move very well up and down, but you can certainly rotate them. Uh, as when it gets to the torso, his upper torso is on a rotation. In fact, it rotates. This is something I just realized now. It rotates right at that top button. A very well-concealed swivel. Um, perhaps not much in the way of the lower waist, but I guess the idea is that you can move the torso, the upper torso, up and down and between that and rotating it. You get quite a bit of movement, but you can see right away where moving it too much throws the jacket off and then it kind of looks kind of looks a little awkward, so you might have to move it might have to keep it a certain way. The legs go forward, back, out. There's a bend at the knee. Not much in the way of rotation in the knee, mind you, but it does bend. The foot rotates back and forth, up and down. So really, you can get a lot of poses, as that's the one thing I've always really liked about Play Arts Kai figures. Just get Joker to stand here. Um, overall, I'm really impressed with the figure. It has a few hiccups, kind of like where the jacket can section, uh, separate itself when you rotate it. But overall, I'm very impressed with the figure. I'm more impressed with the figure having it in hand than I am when I first saw images of it. I think this figure is stronger than the, uh, the Bane figure. The Bane figure was good, but really plagued with some real uh, noticeable um, mom uh, points of articulation. Whereas with Joker, I think Joker does a very good job of hiding a lot of those points, very similar to what Batman did. And I think overall, as an overall feeling, I'm very happy with what they've done with the figure. Um, if I could give Joker a rating, um, I'm going to give Joker here a 9. One thing I also I want to just add about the Play Arts Kai figures is, especially with like the Batman ones, um, you always have gradients. You always have, always have grades of figures. You've got, of course, as the highest grade, you've got like your Hot Toys and your, your Enter Bay, and, and, and you've got your really high, high-end figures. But then you start getting into a higher price point. On the lower end of it, you've got your deluxe scale figures, usually movie property figures or like a del deluxe scale. Then you've got your movie masters, which are a little bit more. Personally... For for the best plastic version of Joker, getting a little further up from the movie masters and getting certainly not as high up as a, as a Hot Toys, I think the uh, Play Arts Kai figures are definitely the route you want to go. Um, when people say, well, I, I like to get a good representation of Joker, but I really don't want to get him in cloth outfits like what you would with the, uh, the Hot Toys, I think the Play Arts Kai definitely are a good route to go. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the new Play Arts Kai Batman Dark Knight Trilogy. This was number four, and we're having a look today at Joker. Thanks for watching, guys. As you always do, certainly stick around. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. See you guys next time.